Hi guys, um, this is for the English learners. Right, so um, the example here is to determine the equation of the tangent to the circle where x squared plus y squared is equal to 20 at the point 2 and negative 4. Okay, so the first thing we want to do here learners is before we get to any um, simplification is we need to know and determine what is the knowledge required for me to simplify this. Number one, I need to be able to identify that that's a straight line. And any straight line is defined through the formula y minus y base 1 is equal to m, which is my gradient, open my bracket, x minus x base 1, close the bracket. Now this formula, learners, you will get this on the formula sheet. So that's fine. Okay? You will get this on the formula sheet. Alright? Number two. Next step is I need to know what I need to substitute into the formula to get to a solution. There are a few areas that's going to require substitution. It's going to be y base 1, your gradient, and your x base 1. Now, x and y, if you put them together, we get a coordinate which is 2 and minus 4. So that is what your x1 base 1 and your y base 1 value would be. So you will substitute that point into the equation to simplify. The m would be your gradient of your tangent learners. Now the gradient of your tangent would be the inverse of your radius. Okay? As I referred to you earlier on. Right. Next thing I need to do is, so now I can just write that down just to, make, just to keep it in front of me. So I, have my, I need my gradient learners. That's the one thing I need. Okay? I also need a point. Right? I need a point and that point is already given to me in this, in this um, example. It's 2 and minus 4. Okay? Right. So, if you have any concerns about that y and that x there, don't worry, that's part of the answer because your final answer will be written as y is equal to mx plus c. That's how your final answer will be written. So, in your solution, there must be a y and there must be an x. And that y there and that x there becomes part of the solution. So, that is why we only substitute into base 1 and base, uh, y base 1 and x, and x base 1. Right. So, learners, what will be my point of departure? Because I have a lot of information given there. This is a lot of information, learners. Just this one side there already tells me what I need to do. Because for me to find the radius of this line, or the gradient, sorry, of this line, I need to understand the gradient formula, but that will also be given to you. So your gradient, learners, is the gradient m equal to y base 2 minus y base 1 over x base 2 minus x base 1. So basically I'm going to need two coordinates. They only give me one coordinate on the on the on the on the, the, the image on the illustration. So where is the other coordinate? How do I know where my other coordinate lies? What if it didn't give me this image? How would I know? I would have known that by looking at my left hand side. Remember what the previous lesson I did with you guys last week. When when we have x squared plus y squared on the left hand side that means there's no a and b value, meaning that this point is at the origin 0 and 0. That's always going to be your case. Just let me uh, um, refresh it again. x squared plus y squared to r squared, this equation will come from the origin. x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equal to r squared. This means that your midpoint is anywhere on the circle. So just keep that in mind. And that is how I know that this is 0 and 0. But if it's like that, learners, then it means there is an x value and there is a y value that you need to find. Okay? That's good. Right. So now, learners, the next thing I'm going to do is the, this formula and that formula is given to me on the formula sheet. That one as well. So now, learners, all I need to do now is to substitute. And that's pre-knowledge. You know substitution. You've done gradient last year. So all I do now is to take my values and put it in there. My gradient would then be minus 4 over 2, which is equal to minus 2. I hope you are clear until there. If you're not clear, please post a question. Right. Now that I know that the gradient of my radius is minus 2, the question I have for you is, what would be the gradient of your tangent? Keeping in mind, as I mentioned earlier on, I spoke about direct inverses. If that line is perpendicular to that line, 
to this line. It means that if this gradient is 2, this gradient would be negative half because my my gradient of my horizontal line is directly a direct inverse of my vertical line. My vertical line is direct inverse of my horizontal line. Keep that in mind. So let's go back. If this is my radius, what is direct inverse of negative? That's positive. What is the direct inverse of 2 over 1? It's 1 over 2. So my, my gradient of my tangent is 1 over 2. So now learners, I have what I've been looking for. I've been looking for my gradient and now I found it and it's 1 over 2. So coming back to what I need for my solution. I need a gradient. Do I have a gradient? Yes, I do. Do I have a point? Yes, I do. What remains now? Substitution. So now learners, all I do is I take my free my formula down. I say y minus y base 1 is equal to m of my bracket x minus x base 1. And all I do is I put it in, I simplify, and that's it. So my gradient there is half. So that becomes half. And remember, this is part of the solution, so you put nothing in there. Minus x1. So if I go to my point given to me, my x1 is 2. Okay. Y minus, y1 is minus 4. So you must open your bracket lens, please. Don't do that because that will cause a problem for you for your solution. Then I have y plus 4 there equals 1 over 2 times x minus 1. And if I simplify learners, y is then equal to 1 over 2x minus and that is your answer.